there are many useful functions to use when creating a manga page. For example, you can create a manga background using a photo. Import an image using the File menu and paste the photo onto the canvas. When importing a photo into a monochrome page, it will be automatically converted into a tone image. For now, I will disable this function and use the color photo. Then, I adjust the size and layout of the photo. Once the placement is final, I activate the tone function in the layer property palette. Clicking the button next to density in the layer property palette, allows me to transform the photo into a manga-like background. I activate posterization by checking the box as well. The tones are divided into different grey tones. I will divide the tone into solidly filled parts and lighter grey tones. The part of the solid fills is at a value of 100. The lighter tone parts are set to 30 with posterization. This can be adjusted by dragging the slider left and right. Once I'm satisfied, I move on to the next task. I'm going to change the screen frequency of the tone in the layer property palette. Then I move the layer with the transformed photo into the frame border folder. To hide the necessary parts of the background image, I create a layer mask and use the eraser to delete those on the mask. Next, let's try drawing a manga-like background using a 3D object. In the window menu, I choose Materials and open the folder named 3D Materials. Here, I'll drag and drop the 3D model of a car from the material palette. To adjust the camera angle and position, I use the icons displayed in the upper left of the object. In the Tool Property Palette, it may be useful to switch the display mode of the layer from Fast to Normal. For this image, I'm going to turn off Apply Light Source. Just as with the photo from before, I'm going to apply the Tone feature from the Layer Property Palette. I activate posterization for the tone density and add the solid fill to the automatically created two tones by clicking on the slider and setting the new tone value to 100. As I find the shadows a bit too strong, I uncheck the Shadow checkbox in the Tool Property palette under Apply Light Source. The surrounding lines are very thin in this case, so I'm going to add a black border with the border effect. And this is how you create a manga-like background from a 3D model.